Hello peeps, <laughs> it's Tracy here, and it's time for What's Up Wednesday. There's my squeaky chair that I really should fix. Um, maybe we should start with What's Up With Technology. Oh, I have tried, as you will notice you are not seeing me still, um, my IT and I department and I spent some time yesterday. And he hooked me up with OBS and we got it all set up and there was the desk view and there was a little circle of me in the corner. I forgot what the picture in picture. Um, and, and I mean, I, I hate having my picture taken, so, you know, it didn't work for me, but, but it worked. <laughs> and we had about a 10 or 15 second delay. And I thought, okay, this will be my lesson in life to slow down, try to let things catch up. So about an hour ago, I sat down to get everything ready and make sure I could make all the technology work and remember everything you told me last night. And I did. Only for some reason, that only the technology gods know, uh, the delay was about a minute and a half. Hello, Nicole. Look, this time I'm actually going to try to pay more attention and, and see what the timing on this one is. So yeah, OBS, minute and a half delay today. So as I was watching this and trying to figure out how I was doing things, and I, I was so happy because I got the screen to go the right way so I didn't have to try to do everything upside down. But <laughs> I'm excited to see what I come up with tonight too, Nicole. <laughs> ah, you know me, I'm just the, the wing it category. Um, so yeah, I uh, I decided that I could not deal with a minute and a half delay. It was just... It was too hard, but I was I was looking at the camera to make sure what I'm what I was doing was in like the line of sight of the camera, and it was a minute and a half behind. And holy cow, is a minute and a half a long time when, when you're when you're doing something like this. So I scrapped that. So then I thought, that's it. I I can figure out Zoom, and I did surprisingly figure out how to stream live from Zoom. I don't actually know if you were from Facebook to Zoom or Zoom to Facebook, but whatever. I could do both. Um, only it would only let me go from my profile and not from my business page. So my good friend Tamara who's figured this out has a crazy woman that she has volunteered to help me. So I'll be getting a hold of her between now and Monday when I have my next live scheduled and, uh, damn it, I will win. And again, I swore on the thing, which I don't think I'm allowed to do. Well, let's hope that's the only one tonight. <laughs> okay. So I think more people are actually, oh, maybe not, okay. Um, Alrighty, so, you see, and the reason I'm, I'm being cautious about where the Zoom was going, and I finally had to scrap it because it was like two minutes before I was supposed to be live, was because last night, I was so excited, I was cutting up my stuff, and I'm like, I remember what the, what the social media guru said, post what you're working on as like a, you know, in progress picture, and when I typed out that you know, hey, what's Tracy working on? And then I added the comment of, I, I often ask myself what I'm doing. I thought it was just so funny because, you know, I cracked me up. Um, I'm my own best fan. That I wasn't paying enough attention because I posted that on Instagram. But somewhere in that process of hitting click, 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 I needed to unclick from Facebook. So it posted on my profile as well and not my business page, which got me all sorts of people were all of a sudden commenting on it. And I thought... Did I all of a sudden have like a ton of people go like my page? Nope, posted it in the wrong spot. So, not that I, you know, won't make many more mistakes to come. I am trying to limit them and not have back-to-back -back days of screwing up. So, that's why Zoom ended for now because I didn't want to make sure I was in the right page when I started. But, anybody, and like I said, a lot more people saw that yesterday. So, anybody who saw yesterday's post, this is what I was working on. I was prepping all the pieces so that I could make this card. And it's a little, a little, little, little literal. Yeah, easy for me to say. Uh, because it does say wishing you all the beautiful gifts of Christmas. And it's gifts. And I know the beautiful gifts of Christmas are not actually things in packages. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I thought it was cute nonetheless. So this is one of the ones I am prepping for either the stamp sack or the buffet. Now, just to keep you wondering, what the heck is she talking about, stamp a stack or buffet? 
you'll have to tune in next week because that's what I'm talking about next week. Look at me planning ahead. In the meantime, though, loving this card. And yes, all the presents are pre-cut out so that when people come to make them, it's that much easier. And <laughs> perhaps I have an issue <laughs> with fussy cutting. <clears throat> so I take entire sheets of DSP, 12 by 12 sheets of DSP, and I've been cutting the little animals out of them. This is for a different card. And then I sort them so make it easier. Um, these are the ones that I fussy cut last night while watching TV with my son. <laughs> Um, that just haven't got in the sort thing yet, so that's a fairly good thing. Uh, I'm obsessed. I can't help it. Once I start, I basically have to go till the paper's done because I can't stop. Uh, I find it very relaxing. Uh, it's I can't just sit and watch TV anyways. i got to be doing something. So this is one of the perfect activities. Excuse me, I try not to squeak my chair too much while I turn around because I was about to set that somewhere where it had all the potential in the world to get knocked off onto the floor. So yeah, I, uh, I, it's the perfect thing to do while you're watching TV, and uh, it preps all my cards for upcoming, upcoming classes. But today, <laughs> thank you, Nicole. See, the, the comments are a little far behind, or I'm just not noticing them fast enough. No, it only says a minute. So, um, yep, we're just going to talk about whatever comes to mind while we go, so we'll go back to the technology. So yeah, thank you on the comments on the pretty card. Um, I will send you, a, I mean, actually, I'll post a picture of that card later so that all the other people who are wondering what the heck was I doing can see it. But yes, it was, uh, depending on how I mass produce it, I might have to change the background. I might have enough paper that I can make enough cards without changing the background. But yes, I, uh, I had an idea in my head. It came to fruition. It's always nice when that happens. So today, what are we talking about today? Kits. And you know how I like my catchy little terms, you know, that's why we have Make It Monday and What's Up Wednesday. Um, I wish I was the one who came up with Kit Together, because let's Kit Together. Uh, I love that. But it was uh, either the CEO of Stampin' Up! or one of the geniuses that work at Stampin' Up! that came up with that. Uh, but hey, that doesn't mean we can't all use it. So today we're going to talk about kits. And what prompted this was a limited time offer. <laughs> um... I wish I could think of what the guy's name was that does all those infomercials and try to like emulate him, but that's probably too annoying anyways. So yeah, limited time offer. So I'm gonna I decided tonight was a good night to talk about kits. So there's two options here. And the reason I I, I put in the comments like for this meeting, we have a zoom option. Kits are awesome and we can kit together in person, but it's also a great way to do it if we're doing things remotely. And I know that's how we only had a choice for the last year and a half and let's see how the numbers go because we might be in that spot again um, but it also works for all the people that are long distance so if you want a way to craft with me because you know come on <laughs> you all want to craft with me um, but you don't actually live in beautiful downtown Mournville like I do then here's a way we can do it over zoom because the kits can all be sent to you guys wherever you are and in some cases you're quite a choice to pick from and then I'll just set up a Zoom meeting, because that I do know how to do. And we'll all get together on Zoom, and then we can talk and interact, and we can make crafts together. And I can show you two screens on Zoom. And so I can give you, like, little tips or whatever I figured out, and we can craft along. The beauty of the kit is that everything comes in it. So, basically, if you have a pair of scissors at home and we send you a kit, boom, we're good. But I'm going to give you a little idea on the two different... Thank you, Nicole. Um, I'm going to give you an idea on the, some of the options. So the easiest option, and the one I've had since, I think it was March 2013. I went to look it up, but, you know, squirrel. I think it was March 2013 was the first kit, is Paper Pumpkin. And so it's a monthly subscription, and you don't know what your kit is ahead of time. It just comes once a month. You, you sign up for it. Um, if you need to, you can, like, suspend months and stuff like that, but, you know, why would you want to? Um, so... When they first came out, they gave you kits you did not know anything. You didn't know if it was cards, if it was treat containers, if they had, in the early days, some home decor items. You didn't know what it was. In more recent time, probably the last year or two, they have been giving, like, little hints and spoilers and such. And part of it is because some people only want the kits if they're cards. They do not want them if they're something else. Um, they only want them if it's certain occasions but not other things or maybe, you know. And, and people are just getting picky. So... And it's fun now because Stampin' Up! has started to give you like little sneak peeks. 
So for example, this is a September kit. And basically, as you can see on here, from the 11th of August to the 10th of September, you can subscribe and you can get the September kit. Now, if you're not wanting to dive in full, get the subscription, and you just want to get the kit, let me know because there's ways to do that too. So, and if you want to join a little like paper pumpkin club and we can all get together once a month and make our kits together, that would be awesome. So as you can see from this one, it's a fall themed. And you notice, see, maybe this is why I like it so much, Haunts and Harvest. My fall class is called Grateful and Gravestones. <laughs> so, yeah. Genius, weirdo, I don't know, somewhere in between. So this one, you have the option of making it more of a Halloween theme or making it more of a Thanksgiving fall theme. The September kit is generally Thanksgiving fall themed and it wasn't always, but then the American company realized that the Canadian demonstrators getting something in the third week of October that was Halloween or that was Thanksgiving themed was not super helpful. So they've moved it now. It's mostly the September kit. So you have the option of doing either. Stampin' Up's really good with their kit designs though too, and you can usually find a way to use the elements of the kit and turn them into cards with some cardstock. So if treat holders aren't for you. But in this one you can see there's these adorable little treat holders. You can just sort of see them in the picture. So we know it's that. And I know from the information they give out ahead of time in the in the teasers that you can make 12 treat containers that you can, like I said, choose either the haunt or the harvest theme. They're just reversible. Uh, the other thing is you see this box. They've also started making these collector boxes. This one though is a special collector box because it's stamped on the inside. And when you're done making all your treats, you can turn this box into an adorable wagon and then put your treats in it and have like a home decor piece. You know me. I like the wood grain. <laughs> gotta have the cutes so so this is the September kit so anybody who wants to join in on a September kit get some treats let me know we'll hook you up now the August kit is the one that's the limited time offer I'm just gonna start being one of those people that starts doing Facebook lives and just throws things on the floor so this was the August kit and it was called box of hope and unfortunately I was not prepared enough in time to you know advertise for this kit it was another one that had a specialty box and the idea was it makes these cards so it makes th nine cards three different patterns um, i'm going to hold this up in a second but three different cards three each of three patterns of card and then the box was a bit of a collector's box and you could go and add things that, you know things that gave you hope things that made you cheerful uh things that you could give to somebody else who maybe needed them needed a bit of hope in their life and this was how the box came up now the subscription period for that was over the kits have been mailed out but there was a problem with the ordering system i guess we just found out, I think yesterday, that because there's a, a, an, an issue with the system, they're going to offer it up where anybody can get it in North America. And so this is like all the different parts and pieces of the kit. There's the banner for the box. There's the amazing, like, colorful die cuts. Uh, this kit happens to have some pre-made labels. Oh, hello, Diane. I love the September one, too. I'm all about harvest and, oh, but the, that wheelbarrow, that put me over the edge. Um, I'm not going to attempt to uh, say these words, but I'm pretty sure it's German, French, and English. Or the, oh, I guess you can't really read that. Sorry. So in addition to the stamp set stuff, these are all the like consumables that come in the kit. So this kit is now available that we could just purchase it. So I thought, well, hey, maybe people want to get together and do this kit. You can only order it between the 24th and the 31st of August. See how I have that little reminder written on the bottom of my page. So... If you're interested in this specific kit, and with any of the kits, it's while supplies last. So this is one of the kits that's, up, that's available to you. But the beauty of the kit together, and everybody ordering kits and having them just sent to your house, and then we all just kind of do them together, or even having them like part of a group order and have them sent here, and then we all get together, is you don't all have to pick the same kit. Now, this one, as I said, has a time, time crunch to it. It's got to be ordered by next Wednesday, and if they run out between now and next Wednesday, that's it. There's no more. So let me know right away if you want one. Um, my thought was I would put an order in on Friday. That gives everybody about a day. So Friday morning, and with any luck, they're still in stock. Now, part of the Paper Pumpkin program here, actually, let me bring this back for a sec, sorry. Part of the Paper Pumpkin program is you get the full kit, and I'm going to actually show you some kits here in a second. You get the full kit, and then about the 20th, give or take um, after the kit there's a whole bunch of dates that if you subscribe I'll tell you all about them um, 
they have the option and sometimes you can get refills sometimes you can get past kits if they still have some left they'll offer them up and you can just order extras of kits so sometimes it's just the refills which is this basically you don't get the stamp and the little ink spot that comes with them but you get all of the consumables so that's also available for this kit as well so if you needed more than nine cards you could get a full kit and then you could get a bunch of refills and you could have multiples of nine however many you needed now there's no guarantee at any given month that there will be leftovers of anything some months the kits have completely sold out before they before they've even finished the subscription period and not even everybody who wanted one could get one because they were that popular so kits are definitely while well, supplies last so I mentioned last week because look at me two weeks in a go two weeks in a row doing lives uh, <laughs> And one of these times I'm going to get good at it. There we go. I'll put this back in frame. Um, I have a pop-up that keeps popping up over top of my picture too. And it's driving me crazy. Okay, so this one I mentioned last week. These are the ones that are coming out. They were in the Christmas catalog. But we don't have a lot of details on them yet. One is obviously a card kit. And one is tags. And our, demonst uh, our demonstrator, our CEO did a live video a couple weeks ago. And so she showed parts of the kit. And they're pretty cute. Um, and as far as we know, they should be coming out fairly soon. I think one of them might be coming out at the beginning of September, and one might be coming out at the beginning of October. It makes sense to me that they'd have cards first, tags second, but I'm not 100% sure. In Paper Pumpkin, in the subscription part, the Christmas kits are generally the October-November ones. And in the past, the October one's been the cards, and the November one's been, um, I think there's tags one year, there were stockings one year, there was a couple different things. So... Based on that, I'm assuming these will come out. And again, these will be first come, first serve. So if you're thinking you want to do a kit together sometime in September, it is possible one of these two would be available. But if you let me know what you're looking for, then I will just kind of keep an eye out for it and give you a heads up when it comes up. The other, the other bunch of kits are the ones that are on the internet. And here's today's lesson <laughs> um, in doing it. When I say while supplies last, I mean while supplies last. Because the one I'm going to show you is a sample. I was actually going to get a screenshot so I could show you where it was on the internet. But they appear to have sold out of them. So mine's un currently unopened. So maybe, maybe that might have to be a door prize at one point. Because apparently you can't even get it anymore. So this is what the paper pumpkin boxes usually look like. They're usually this, I don't know, reddish orange color. Um, and this is what your monthly kit comes in. And when you get them, this is the one, this is July, so this was the one month before. This is the one I happened to post about because the pictures for this kit came out on the 11th of June. My last day of, my last day of work in the office. And it's called The Adventure Begins and it's all outdoor forestry camping things. And I thought, <laughs> imagine the timing there. But it's an adorable kit. And in this case, this is like was a specialty cards kit. But to use it as an example, it comes with very good colored detailed instructions on how to put the cards together i am happy to help you but if i'm not there ooh, instructions it comes with a stamp set they're all different this one's actually a pretty good size stamp set and it comes with a little ink spot in a color that goes with this so these ink spots are great they don't ever repeat this the color of ink spot in a 12 month period so eventually if you do a monthly uh, subscription you'll end up with a collection of these and these things can be re-inked, so if you use them up and they're starting to get a little light, the, the ink's starting to fade, you could just pop a couple drops of re-inker in them. These sets, reusable, again. Uh, when you order paper pumpkin, the first month you do it, you get a block, like a clear block. Not this exact clear block, but you get a clear block that all of the stamps will fit on. And then every month when you get them, you just have stamps and ink. And then you get all the consumables you need. So in this case, there's some layers. These ones had pretty fancy envelopes. Although the Stampin' Up, or the Stampin' Up, the Paper Pumpkin envelopes, lots of times they'll have like patterns printed onto the inside or something, so they're, they're not usually just plain white. And then card bases, whatever you need for card bases are in there. I'm sorry, I haven't figured out how to get my camera to actually focus at a higher level. Uh, there's lots of die cuts. In this case, there's trees that just punch out that are all ready for you. Uh, some more card bases that are underneath. And then in this case, and it's it's different with each kit. Um, in this case, I have some sequins, and I have some glue dots, and I have some little dimensionals. So, oops, sorry, there we're having issues with, again with which direction I'm going. Um, so the adhesives you need to put the cards together are in the kit. So really, a pair of scissors. Sometimes there's string or twine, um, or ribbon or whatever in them. So this is what you get. But everything's in there to make these cards. A pair of scissors, 
and a little bit of know-how, boom, you're on your way. Now, based, using this as the basis for how they did it, they've also come up with this other line of kits that are on that are on the Stampin' Up! on the online store. And basically, if you see it on the online store, it's in stock. If you go to the online store, if you saw it one day and you go back a week later and it's not there, that means they sold out, which is the case with this one. <laughs> Um, so the, the new one, the kit collection ones, they just come in this uh, cardboard colored <laughs> box. Now, and there's two kinds. There's ones that have stamping in them, which are very much like the paper pumpkin kits. And at least for the initial offerings, the ones that are on there now, a lot of them are past paper pumpkin kits that they've brought back and put into circulation. Um, there's some that came from Celebration. But the paper pumpkin ones are ones where you stamp. And then they also have... I think there was three or four. Actually, I'm going to open this, but I might still use it as a prize somewhere along the way. Um, there's three or four that don't involve any stamping. They're just crafting. So these kits are, are designed to be easy. They're entry level. You know, get you hooked on crafting, and then then, then I got you. Then you're all mine. Um, <laughs> but they are just very simple. If you just want a quick something to do, yeah. Nicole, it did, as far as I can tell, because it's... Oh, hello, Nikki. Nikki's here now joining us, too. Um, yeah, I went to find this online, and it's not there. So by how I understand the system, if it is not online, it's because it's sold out. So and this one, I'll show you why it sold out, because it was a very popular kit. So let me see. That was a squirrel moment for me, and I will... Oh, there we go. Back on track. So yes, some of them involve stamping. They're meant to be simple. Sit down, uh, make some cards... They're nice relaxing times. You can usually do them half an hour to an hour. But there's some that are even one step simpler that don't even involve stamping. So this one, and it came in that box. It may or may not have had tissue. Um, tissue paper kind of annoys me. Fun fact about Tracy. So usually when I get my kits, I take the, the tissue paper out and turf it. I put it in the recycle. Um, there are demonstrators who use that tissue paper for all sorts of different things and get so creative with it. I don't know. Tissue paper just annoys me. So mine goes in the recycle. But the, the packages come like this. They come sealed. Um, paper pumpkin boxes. That's a fun fact for you. They, they used to come just the box. And when you opened them up, it was the tissue. But there was lots of issues with them getting wet and damaged. And they go in various different transport. The ones that come to... to uh, actually, I think it's all of Canada now. But for sure, ours come by FedEx. So it's not too bad. But some end up going through the mail. Some in the States end up going through the mail. And there's been pictures of these like mangled boxes. So they did, they did start... Uh, cello wrapping the outside of the paper pumpkin boxes to help protect the contents but usually the consumables the paper parts inside are also wrapped so it's very good because then they generally aren't damaged so ooh, look at this kit shiny pretty little gems and these are like the faceted gems multi-sided so they're super pretty we have some dimensionals the little 3d double-sided dots we have, I haven't actually looked at this kit, as you know, because I just opened it. But see, these envelopes are nice, a little bit of a scalloped edge, but they have a nice little print on the inside. And we have some card bases. So these ones appear to be just white. These card bases are flutterbys that open up. These ones have a nice little watercolor look to them. And then... So I'll take this back out again. So you can see that these are the... So this was the watercolor one. This was the die cut one. And this is the, the plain one that I saw. And if I had looked at the envelopes more closely, I would have noticed that the flaps are different colors because I can see it on here. And this one actually has little butterflies on it. Oops, sorry. Little butterflies on it. Um, there's lots of very pretty butterfly die cuts in here that will go over top of this. See, they're doing all the hard work for you. You, and, and nobody nobody says you have to like tell everybody you didn't do this all from scratch. There you go. So we're putting these beautiful die-cut butterflies over top of this little uh, watercolor part. Uh, this set comes with all sorts of sentiments and stuff. And again, <laughs> would you like to try out some German? Um, yes, See, because I know just enough French to say that you are in my thoughts. I'm going to assume it says the same thing there in... German, and actually there might even be one in Dutch, because this is different. And those are some of the key languages for Stampin' Up! So that's, this appears to be in four different languages. So these are labels, so instead of having to stamp your labels, they're pre-printed for you. And then, oh, this was for the one card. This this would have went over top of the white parts. 
So, like I said, everything's in there. There's some glue dots for fastening things in. So, a pair of scissors, instructions, some good friends to hang out and shoot the breeze with, and boom, it's a kit together. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need a kit together. Now, since we're doing this entry level, I might just set this up as a this as a once a month thing. Uh, my friend does it, and she calls it pants optional stamping, uh, because zoom right. You're only seeing you from the waist up. Ooh, tissue paper to wrap gifts. You see, that would be the that would be the um, the smarter way to do things. <laughs> Save the tissue paper and reuse it. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking we might put this in and pick a zoom on a weeknight like a Thursday or something, close to the weekend, not the busiest days of the week, just when somebody needs a break. And if we plan ahead of time, I'm thinking we need a good two to three weeks to ensure that kits get to where you are. Uh, or get to me if you're coming here. And then we decide which way we want to do it, in person or online. And order some kits. Like I said, everybody can work on whichever one they want. Um, and then we'll all just kit together and craft. So what I need from you guys is to know if you're interested in this at all if you're interested in online or in person and if anybody has any questions about paper pumpkin i could go on for ages i love paper pumpkin i love the surprise part of it the sneak peeks don't bother me too much because they don't give everything away um, there's alternatives there's websites on it there's a you could have so much fun with paper pumpkin uh, but i could talk forever on that one uh, i'm going to see if i can multitask here bring up a very funny picture on my phone while I while I wrap this up. Um, so yeah, I could talk about Paper Pumpkin forever, but if you are interested in having a one-off kit to try it, or you want a, a link to subscribe, or you just want to ask questions, I am, I am available. Let me know. Uh, when I'm done, I'm going to post a picture of my card, which I'll bring back here um, in a second, just so people can see, make sense of the post I made last night that didn't make any sense. Let me know and I'll join you. Perfect. Um, or if you want one of these other kits, just again, just to, to try it as a one-off, that works as well. And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. We'll figure out what we're going to do. Let me see if I can do two things at once. Obviously, I can't. There we go. So this is me when it comes to stamping. Let's see. Uh, oh, it won't focus though. Okay, here. I will put the picture up. This is my problem with this camera. The autofocus doesn't seem to want to autofocus. Ooh. It says, when a friend says they want to learn about more about stamping. <laughs> okay, that's me. It would have been funnier if you could have seen the picture. Maybe I'll post that one afterwards. But yes, I could talk about stamping and paper pumpkin and kits and getting together for hours and hours and hours. But I'm guessing you don't want me to. So ask your questions. Um, I will watch for. I will put up some pictures on this on Facebook afterwards. I'm going to move this also this video to YouTube for those who don't have Facebook, which I keep telling you guys, and you obviously have Facebook because you're here. Um, but I will put it up there, and then yeah, any questions you can get a hold of me. Some of the comments here, or message, text, whatever, uh, and we will we will look forward to doing something together. Uh, for those who missed the very beginning because I really should learn to wait, but once I get started, then I just want to talk about stamping and show you all the cool things. Um, this is the card I made. Darn, I am never going to get used to this upside down backwards thing. Uh, I'll get used to it just in time to figure out how to fix it. So this was the card I made that I was cutting out all those pictures of presents for. Uh, one of my cards for either a stamp a stack or a Christmas card buffet. Two different methods of stamping workshops that we're going to talk about next Wednesday. So there you go, folks. Kits and a bonus card for you. Um, thank you all for joining me. You have no idea how happy I am that there's people on. <laughs> and for making comments. That was just awesome. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see on these things because I have ideas and like I said, I could talk for hours. Um, I'm just going to keep trying different things and see what people comment on the most. <laughs> but happy Wednesday, everybody. Thank you all for joining me. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. In about a half an hour, there should be a post up with some pictures that you can actually see and some links and stuff if you want uh, to subscribe or anything. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.